Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'll be showing you how to mix your own e-liquids using the Nick Vape DIY starter kit, as well as what's in that starter kit. So, I am just going to get right into it. First thing we want to do, you want to probably, unless you want to do all these calculations by hand, find some kind of e-liquid calculator for your mixes. So, I've been using the steam engine most of the time. It's it's pretty solid, I don't have any complaints with it. Pretty easy, pretty easy to figure out. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna make a 10 milliliter batch here, so that's fine as is. Milliliters is fine for volume, that's what we typically use. A nicotine unit, I change this to milligrams per milliliter. Easier for me, easier with this kit. They warn you that uh, nicotine is actually slightly denser than water, but that's pretty. That's a pretty tiny difference. We're not gonna worry about that. We just want to get our fucking shit made here. All right, nicotine strength. The nicotine strength that comes with the kit is 25 milligrams per milliliter. I'll show you where you can see that on the bottle. Okay, VGPG ratio. That's of your nicotine you have. You can from the Nick Vape kit. You can either get um, 100% VG or 100% PG base. I have the PG base, so this is fine. There's also some bases you can get where, you know, it can be 50 VG, 50 PG, but we're not gonna really worry about that here. Okay, you get team base contents. It's nothing you really need to worry about. Flavoring, this is where you add what types of flavors you're gonna put into your mix and how much of those you're gonna put in. So let's say we want to do, I don't know, we'll, we'll say we want to do lemon lime or something like that, right? Lemon lime. Um, they recommend that you use about 10% flavoring on their website when you buy this kit. Their flavors they provide to you are fairly strong. And from what I've noticed, that's probably a pretty good amount for the most part. But I mean, you can test it out. If you don't like your mix, you want to add more flavor, go ahead. You want to add less flavor, go ahead. That's the beauty of it. Also, this flavoring that they provide is going to be contributing to the PG since it's in a PG blend. Um, so if somehow you got some flavoring that's in a VG blend, you would check these. But we don't need to in our kit. Okay, you can choose your nicotine strength here. I like to go between three and six usually. So I'll just throw three in there. And then you can choose your PG, PG, PG ratio. Um, important to note, like here for instance, um, depending on the ingredients you have, you may not be able to like achieve the VG PG ratio you want so let's say you're like a diehard 80 20 guy 80 VG 20 PG so like in this case you wouldn't be able to technically make that mix so when you're choosing your nicotine blend choosing whether it's um, in diluted in VG or PG you might want to consider something like that if you're like you know, heavy VG vapor, a heavy PG vapor. So yeah, just something to pay attention to when you're ordering your kit. I, I'll, I'll go into the kit here in a little bit. But yeah, so for this we'll just throw in 70-30 and then yeah, it tells us what we need to make that. So for the purposes of this tutorial, we are not going to like be going down to the hundredth um, of a milliliter here. We, yeah, we're just kind of winging in this tutorial. I'm, I'm just making this to get people, so people can go out, buy a kit, get it, and not be afraid to just, you know, get some batches brewed up pretty quickly, because I'm sure that's what a lot, a lot of people are trying to do when they go DIY. They're not trying to Worry. Oh no, if I like miss 0 0.05 milliliters here, then my PG is going to be 32 and my VG is going to be 68. No, most people don't give a shit. If you do give a shit, you're probably going to want to buy some more precise 
measuring instruments. And yeah, this video probably isn't uh, suited for you anyways. You're probably looking for something else, but anyways, let's move on a little bit. So I actually have the blend I'm gonna try here. I wanted to make a strawberry lime blend because I can and I don't know. I'll see how it tastes, I guess. But yeah, strawberry lime. We're doing a 10 milliliter batch. Five of each. Yep, got everything already pre-filled here. I'm doing three milligrams per mil. 70 VG, 30 PG. I like that level, it's good for me. You can uh, adjust that to however you need to. Uh, sounds like my cat's getting pretty pissed off. I had to lock it in my room for this. And she is scratching the fuck out of that door, so let's adjust my camera here and show you what comes in this kit. One second. Okay, let's see how this looks. Not too bad, we can do better obviously. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Alright, so let's go over what's in this kit. So, kit comes with uh, 15... Sorry, gotta make sure I'm in the camera. Comes with 15 um, 10 milliliter bottles and 7 50 milliliter bottles for your bigger batches. So if you make a nice little batch you really like, you can go ahead and um, basically multiply everything you did by 5, all the ingredients. And go ahead and just throw it in a 50 mil batch and you're good to go, dude. Alright, what else we got here? Okay, the kit comes with 10 different flavors you can choose from. They have a okay selection. There are a few flavors that I wanted but they didn't have, but you know, whatever. I just tried some other ones out. I got a lot of fruity type flavors. Let's see. Does focus? Yeah, orange, bubblegum, lemon, lime. I ordered two oranges on accident because I was drunk when I ordered. Not recommended. So yeah, got my flavors. Just gonna set them aside. Show you this other stuff. Okay, it comes with three one milliliter pipettes. These things are really cheap, but yeah, they get the job done. If you're doing some more, um, just taking some smaller amounts of liquid out, these are great. I, I typically use these for the, um, the flavorings when I'm adding the flavorings because you don't. For the 10 milliliter batches especially, you don't need a whole lot. You usually need less than a milliliter, unless you're really trying to get some absurd flavor out of it. Alright, they give you three of these syringes here. These are pretty nice. Uh, yeah. So, we'll get into those a little more later. I typically use these for the nicotine, the VG, and the PG. Okay, these bottles here. So this one, we have our 25 milligrams per milliliter of nicotine. Comes with the kit. You can choose to get it suspended in PG or VG. I got PG. Okay. And then you can also choose vegetable glycerin as a base or PG as a base in the kit. I also went ahead and ordered some propylene glycol separately, so I have the option of, you know, fine tailoring my mixes a little bit more. But I mean, if if you don't really care, then you don't have to buy a separate base if you don't want to. But I kind of did. Send you five pairs of blue nitro gloves, so those are good for protecting your hands against any nicotine on them. Okay, we got some caps for the bottles and we got some little white peely labels you can put on the bottles. Pretty cool. Pretty useful. Comes with some beakers. I've yet to use these. I don't make too many big batches though so yeah, I could see these maybe coming in handy if you're making a big batch. But yeah, they're 30 ml beakers. Nothing too fancy there. I haven't had to use them yet. Comes with a 50 milliliter um, graduated cylinder. 
Again, this is more for your bigger batches. I haven't had they really use it yet. And then also separately, I bought a 10 milliliter graduate cylinder so I can uh, more precisely fine tune my mixes, like not to any crazy level. I mean, this thing only goes up in increments of 0.2 milliliters. So we're not getting like crazy precision, but I did want to be somewhat precise usually. For this video, I'm not going to be too precise though. Okay. And then a few other things I wanted to mention. If you have any liquids that were in glass bottles laying around, you probably want to keep those glass bottles. They're a lot nicer than the plastic ones they provide you. And you can reuse them. And just put your mixes in there. Just a tip. Another tip I found out, or I kind of knew when I ordered the kit. I uh, bought some zero milligram nicotine juice a while ago to try it out and see if I could just get off the nicotine altogether. Uh, turns out vaping and something like that's kind of like, you know, having your hands tied behind your back when you're watching a porno. It just, it's just really aggravating and pisses you off, at least in my case. So when I got my kit, I actually threw in some nicotine in there. Now it's great. And yeah, cool, man. So I guess I'm going to get what I need over here and we will start our mix. So I'll get the syringes over here. We got a, a paper towel there just to keep things a little more tidy. Okay, get one cap and one uh, one of those uh, toppers out. Okay, 10 ml bottle. Okay, so I got some propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, nicotine. Like I said, you don't have to buy an extra base if you don't want to. Like, I bought the uh, extra propylene glycol, but I do like the flexibility of fine tailoring my mixes a little bit. But, you know, if you just want, like, a high VG blend, just go ahead and buy your, uh, go ahead and buy your nicotine and PG and just buy some VG oil and, like, don't really worry about it, I guess, but... I think you may as well buy this too, because at least I'm going to use this a lot, so I think it's definitely worth it. Um, okay, get my pipettes over here. Okay, cool. So let me get my flavorings now. So I got the strawberry here. And looking for the lime. Okay, got that here. Cool. So I got those. I'm not going to use the uh, 10 ml graduated cylinder for this video just to make it easier if you guys do end up just getting the base starter kit but I mean it's perfectly acceptable to not use something like that either. Alright cool so let me look at my recipe here. Okay. So I need 1.2 ml of nicotine and with the nicotine I mean if you want to be safe, wear gloves. This is a lower uh, concentration of nicotine, 25 milligrams per milliliter, so I'm going to take the risk and not wear gloves myself. In the future, I do plan on buying some 100 milligram per milliliter concentrations of nicotine, and I will definitely be wearing gloves for that. But I mean, it's I mean, it's your call. If you want to be safe, be safe. If you don't, don't. I mean, if you kill yourself. Or if you go to the hospital, don't try sue me because I don't have any money, so I don't know what to tell you. I'm just warning you. Alright, cool. So, 1.2 mils. So, the syringes go up in a 0 0.5 milliliter increment, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Like I said, we're not being too precise in this video here. Just enough. Just enough to get your nick buzz on, boy. So, got that in there. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
Yeah, a little high. So show you what it looks like when I'm done. Yeah, I can use a little more than that, I guess. So you want to be down at eye level here. You want to have the lines at eye level to see where your liquid is when you're pulling in. Actually, no, this is kind of funky. Let me start over. Better. Now it's lined up with the stuff. Or... Alright. Nicotine off my hand. Wipe it off. Like I said, I'm not too worried since this is a very, well, yeah, it's a pretty low concentration, so, you know, I'm not, shouldn't get nicotine poison or something like that. So here's what we got. Let's see. As you can see, we're a little bit past, the rubber solder's a little bit past the here. Focus. Now fo focus. We're a little past the one. I'm gonna call it 1.2. Might be 1.3, whatever. I'll live. Hopefully. Okay, cool. So we just squirt that inside of the top of our bottle like so. Set that syringe aside. I'm not gonna use it again. Don't wanna cross contaminate my other fluids too much. Okay, so now the nicotine's done. I always get that done first because it's the thing you just kind of want to get out of the way. Actually, get it. Yes. Yeah, here, so it's not on this paper towel. Okay, cool. Uh, VG, so our recipe says we need 6.98 mLs of that, so I'm just going to round it up to 7. I think it's pretty silly to not do that. 7, good enough. Alright, so we stick our other syringe in here. And this stuff is really thick, if you don't know that. So, you could actually take this needle off your, um, your syringe here and just put the whole thing in and pull it up. It'll be a lot quicker, but I don't like to make a big mess with this stuff, so I'm actually just going to pull it up slowly. But you might be able to see in the video, like, how slowly it pulls up. So, look, the liquid's actually catching up to the stopper very slowly. Yeah, looks like you can see that. So, yeah, just keep in mind that you have to also keep pulling up on this as well, or else it'll just pop back down to where the, nick, to where the liquid ends. Okay. So, that looks alright so far. Uh... It's, I'll show you how much I have in here when I'm done, just to make it easier on me. Okay, push a little, push it down a little bit. I'm at, let me just restart this and not worry about keeping it on camera, because, yeah, it's not lined up with the plunger in there, so, let's do this again. Cool. So now let's start it. Okay, slowly filling up. I keep pressure on this plunger, or else it's just gonna pop back down to where the liquid ends in there. Okay. All right. Looks a bit better. Push a little bit of this out, get down to 7 ml. Alright, looks good. Straight a little off of that there before I show you this. So, so, as you can see, the rubber stopper is stopped. Yeah, this is fine. Up at that 7 ml is there, right at that line, so that's what we want. So now we take our bottle and we squirt. Like I said, this is thick stuff. It's gonna take a little bit to get it all in here. A little bit of effort. That's in. I'll give it another push out any remainder of the liquid in here. Ok, 
Okay, cool. Alright, so... Oh, what am I doing? Okay, we're done with this now. Done with the VG. Great. Throw that to the side. Throw this over here. Alright, so PG. It's saying we need 0.82 milliliters. I'll round down to about 0.8-ish, but... We're not going to get that exact with what I'm doing here. If I was using the graduating cylinder, I could get pretty close to 0.8, but not with this. Okay, so let me find one. Yeah. So these pipettes here, see if this focuses. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Oh, good enough. So these little indentations here. See these little indentations, so we got one here, 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 and at the end here. Those are each 0.25 milliliter indentations, so it's actually like the 0 0.5 and the 1 are actually labeled, it's just kind of hard to see right now. The camera, let me see if I can show it. No, it's not zooming that close, but yeah, take my word for it. So, since I need about 0.8 milliliters, I'm just gonna fill a little bit past this third line here, which is 0.75, so let's fill a little past it. I'm not being 100% exact on this, like I said. And then we'll just squirt that in real quick. And yeah, if I was doing a higher PG blend and I needed more liquid than less than a milliliter, I would just use a syringe for it, but yeah, in this case, I'll just use a pipe that because it's such a low amount we need. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and fill that up and then squirt out, squirt it down out to what I said I would, which is See, I guess this is where I'm used to using my graduated cylinder here. Because typically I would just rip this until I get 0.8 milliliters, but I have to actually try to fill it up and go. Now, so. So I'm just going to slowly fill this up. Until we get past, eh, a little less than I wanted. We fill it up till we get past. Okay, so we're a little bit above 0.75, so I'm just gonna pull this out of the liquid. And basically just yeah, it just gets all funky after you do that because it fills up with air, but we got about 0.8 milliliters of liquid in there, so take my word for it. I fucking said so. Just squirt out most of that without it touching the liquid in there so we don't suck any up. All right, good. Cool, so we got our nicotine, we got our VG and our PG, so that's all that's left is the flavoring. And we need 0.5 milliliters of strawberry and 0.5 milliliters of lime. So I actually open up my strawberry flavoring here. Okay, unwrap that. Just throw the wrapper over here for now. Okay, so go ahead and do the lime first. Lean, lime. Some people might call it. Half a mil. So same method as with the propylene glycol. So I'm just gonna slowly fill it up, fill it up to that half milliliter line. Pull it out of liquid and let it fill up with air. Okay, so we got 0.5 mLs in here. Squirt it in real quick. Cool. Done. 
So the lime flavoring is capiche. Throw that over there. Get the strawberry now. FML. What's good? Slowly fill it up to the half ml line. Pull it out of the solution. Just let the rest fill up with air. Good enough. Looks good. Squeeze most of that out. All right. And yeah, I've noticed with these 10 ml bottles, I think they're a little bit bigger than 10, 10 mls because there's always a bit of space between the bottom and top in these, but whatever. I have a batter, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just filling these up randomly, you know? It's one of the two, I guess. All right, cool, so got it. Put our top piece on. Get that all good. Then I usually just shake these for a bit, a minute or two. So, I know a lot of people say you should age these or let them breathe, but, you know, I've done some research on it. It's, it seems like your mileage is just gonna vary on that. Oh shit, I never closed this. Let me do that first. I don't wanna be spilling propylene glyc all over the place. But yeah, so with aging or breathing them, um, it's, you get, you're gonna, if you ask like, five different people, you're gonna get five different opinions on it, so... What I've noticed when I made these is, just give them a good shake, and they vape pretty well after that. I haven't had any issues, but... I mean... I don't know, if your flavor is weird and you can't figure out why, maybe you want to try... Let them breathe for a day, get the, the ethyl alcohol out of them. I mean, I don't know, it's it's gonna vary person to person, really. I have no problem just shaking these up for a minute or two, putting them in my dripper, and blowing some clouds. Alright, cool. So, good enough. Oh yeah, I didn't use this one, so I'll throw that over here. So, let's get back up here. Oh yeah. Yeah, boy. Okay, cool. So... Actually, gonna grab my dripper here and test this out. Take my tank off here. Okay, so yeah, just taking my Kanger tank off here. Put on my Sapur Saper dripper, whatever the hell you want to call it. Just running a dual coil build in here. Got a little juice in it. I'm gonna vape a little of this off before I drip this up to uh, max power on this. This is, yeah, this, uh, this box only goes up to 50 watts. Alright. Cool. Let's try some of this new shit I just made. See how horrible it tastes. Oh. Well, if that was dripping or not. I think the smoke was throwing me off. Should be good. Get a quick look. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's well, it's well fed on the fluids. Fatty. I'm gonna actually let a little just burn off. It looks like it's flooded a little bit. Whoa! That's an interesting smell I'm getting off here. Yeah, I think it should be good. What the fuck? Holy shit, that is weird. Whoa. What's that flavor? What's that? It tastes kind of familiar. Let me put my finger on it. Oh yeah, it tastes like shit. So yeah, the joy of DIY. Make your own fluids, try out some new flavors, see if they taste like shit. This tastes like fucking dick right here, so... Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be making this one again. But yeah, I mean... Sky's the limit. Just do whatever the hell you want.
just remember safety wear gloves if you're worried about nicotine touching your skin I would highly recommend wearing gloves if you're using 100 m milligram per milliliter nicotine this is 25 I feel safe getting away with this that's I mean if anything happens to me it's on me like so I hope you guys feel the same way about that but you know be as safe as you want to be basically uh, don't do anything too stupid and I hope you learned something from this so take it easy peace out I'll let my cat out of my room before it closet the door down, so later.